Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Civilization VI on the PS4 Pro. Alright, so we left off last episode with a bunch of cities needing to take care of their production. So let's go and start with London, which just made a bank. So we talked about getting the stock exchange. You know what, guys? We're going to go and get the archaeological museum because I really want to get some archaeologists going. So let's get that constructing here in London. I feel like London has to have a museum, man. Gots to. Uh, York's Trader has been completed. Uh, and so let's see what we want to get here now. Do the stock exchange uh, for that beautiful, beautiful money. One thing to consider is that York doesn't have any more housing, guys. So we could get a builder... Uh, let me just take a look and see if they need tiles to work. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, see if they need tiles. It looks like we're pretty much good here. Um, you know, we're working those sea tiles, but they get us so much good stuff. Uh, those coastal tiles do. Uh, so yeah, for the most part, I think we're good. Uh, I guess they do need, uh, eventually to get like a farmer or something out here. So yeah, we'll want to get farmers eventually, but it's just not going to solve the long-term issue. So I think it's time get those tiny houses that Jinx tiny wants. Tiny houses. Let's do tiny houses, guys. Uh, so, again, this is based off of the appeal of the tile. Uh, if we did this one up here, that would move the forest. So let's do this one right here. And they're going to be next to the coal. <laughs> so the coal miners will live. not very nice. No, it's not. But that's where they're going to live. Some of that country bunkin' living. Uh, so Liverpool. You know, guys, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Liverpool can get the Statue of Liberty. It only gives us the plus four diplomatic victory points, which is really n not that great. I mean, unless you're going to go for a, vict a diplomatic victory, which we're in last place for. We do have a spot open for it. I don't know, guys. I really don't know that it's worth it. What do you we're think, Jinx? We're not going to have Lady Liberty. Well, I mean, if you think about it, though, Jinx, we're not going towards a diplomatic victory, I mean, so no, it gives us it almost doesn't no really use. It matter, because no one else is building wonders. Yeah, and then <laughs> it only gives uh, uh, the the loyalty bonus six tiles away, which would, one, two, three, four, five, six, would impact Liverpool and, and Newmarket, essentially. So mm -hmm. that's the only two you're getting loyalty bonuses, and we don't have any loyalty problems there. They get kind of rowdy. Maybe if we put it in Jerusalem, can't Jerusalem build it? I think Jerusalem can. We could always build it there, because uh, that might be actually useful. Uh, but let's go and get the market here, guys. They need we need monies. Need that dough, mm -hmm. dough. Yeah, so we could do it here, although it'd take a lot more turns. Eh, if yeah. if they did the shipyard first, they would have quite a bit more production. Let's try that, and then we'll see if uh, if we still want to do it. The advisor wants a water park. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she loves water parks that's why uh so let me just see here. i thought we had a guy up here oh he's right here okay the missionary got it all right let's go ahead and enter turn oh weren't we gonna get a um land unit to go claim that city that they can't seem to take because they don't have any huh yeah we're gonna yeah that's what we're waiting to do we're waiting to declare war on oh them. i keep forgetting i'm just like march your ass on in there and snatch it yeah we don't want it to be a surprise victory because everybody hates us enough as it is well it shouldn't uh, be a surprise you know what we can't build farms here uh because oh. of the the fact that it's a uh tundra, tundra tile i was thinking you could build it next to uh rivers but apparently not i'm sure something shitty would grow there so essentially we can't get anything but production stuff here well, that's, that's unfortunate. Quite unfortunate, guys. All right, well, we're just going to move him out of here. Dumfries is just going to be a shitty place, essentially. Can't have a beet farm there. Nope, no beet farm, Jinx. That's unfortunate. Uh, so, since we can't get that, we can just go... We can get these horses here, so that'll be more horses. Uh, not that we need horses, uh, but, you know. You don't need horses? Well, I mean, look at it. We're stacked up on horses. We don't need shit, really. Uh, so yeah, we could do that. Uh, I'm sure there's other stuff London needs. We just like to look at them. We don't actually ride them. Mm -mm, not really. Do we even know how? Do we, we have any horse units? Let's get this. Yeah, we got horse units, Jinx. We got a couple horse units. Sure. We got one right there. There's a horsey guy. No. And then we have one right there. That's some city horses. <laughs> we got two horsey <laughs> units, Jinx. Don't know what it's like to feel the grass beneath their hooves. <laughs> Uh, your embassy is a welcome addition to our capital. And we need to send those out as well. I'm going to do that next turn, guys. I've been talking about it. After a loss in loyalty, 
A nearby foreign city declared independence from its former. Take me there. So they finally lost that city, oh. and so it's independent now, which means uh, you could, of course, attack it. Uh, but also, it's going to flip over to another country, more than likely the Mongols. So they actually took over that uh, diplomatically, wow. peacefully, I should say. I don't see that happen too often. What the cities flipping? Yeah, they actually do flip quite a bit. I mean, you haven't really played with this that feature, have you? No. Yeah, they actually do flip a lot if you find your city surrounded by enemy cities. I mean, it happens all the time. I mean, you saw we almost had Newtonham flipped. We got very close to losing Newtonham. And World Congress, Congress meets. Oh, this is a special session. Uh, so this is probably about helping them, I assume. Maybe. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and do this, guys. So let's do this now while I'm thinking about it. Establish the embassies. Yeah, so he, I better have accepted it. Did we just it. become best friends? No, I don't <laughs> think so. I just want to make sure everybody has an embassy. The ladies love you, man. They do. I don't even know why. They were ladies really like me. Well, gee, you don't even know why the ladies love <laughs> no, me? No, I mean, like, you know, in the game. Wow, Jinx. <laughs> Jinx said she doesn't even know why. The, well, why do you like me, <laughs> Jinx? Because you look nice naked. Because <laughs> I look nice naked. <laughs> She didn't say it was my personality <laughs> or my humor. She's like, you just look nice and naked. <laughs> Fine chunk of man meat. <laughs> if I said that, everybody would be judging me. But nobody's going to find it offensive in this video, I guarantee it. Uh, Somebody might. Nobody built the Taj Mahal yet. <laughs> yeah, nobody building wonders. They just can't get them done, I guess. No. All like right, they so think they don't know how. Maybe they don't. They can't figure it out. Or they're just not that wonderful. Maybe. That's a possibility. So I really wanted to get an observation balloon. This is a support unit you know, that you attach to other units, and it increases the range of siege units. So essentially, it makes it so that our siege units, which are our bombards here, would be able to attack uh, from a position where the city can't attack back. Oh. So that's pretty useful, so guys. It's like a drone. An old time kind drone. of, <laughs> <laughs> kind of, I suppose. Uh, so we could get that, uh, and yeah, I, I'm really tempted to do that. Yo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think like we should. Balloons. Although we need military engineers. Yeah, we need balloons. We need military engineers, Jinx. We can. Buy, okay, this is what we'll do. Okay, this is what we'll do, Jinx. We'll purchase the balloon. Okay. You can't. You're poor. Next turn. You can't afford balloons. And we'll build the military engineer. <laughs> Because that would result in us getting the balloon quicker, because it's, normally it's going to take eight turns, so we'll never get it in time for the war. Uh, speaking of the war, can we declare war yet? Uh, do we need it for the war? No, but we could use it. We still can't yet. All we right. can't use a, a Cassius belly. Hmm? No, we we have one. We denounce them. Oh. But for it to not be... Well, I mean, I guess we could do... Yeah, see, we have to wait for five turns. <sighs> so we have one more turn. But yeah, what I was saying is we could do this so we could see exactly how many... How many turns it's going to take and so we could do any of these I see. but we have to wait the the five turns and we got one more left so next turn we will declare war and hopefully they haven't taken war. istanbul yet all right so the medieval walls have been constructed here in newtingham again since this is a frontier uh, city it might be wise to go ahead and get a the renaissance walls yes yeah yeah let's just keep on building like cities walls. here in newtingham Although, no, I said we were getting a holy site in Newtonham, Oh, Jinx, yeah. Because Newtonham needs a holy site. It does. It just feels wrong. There's, well, that and there's too much outside pressure. Mm-hmm, true. Um, ooh, look at all that faith you get right there. Well, isn't that nice? Yeah, that is great. All the faith. Uh, we would have to purchase it, though, which would throw a kink in my plan of getting the balloons. All right. Well, this is what we'll do. Naked dance-offs are more important. Well, this is what we'll do, Jinx. We'll get the Renaissance walls, and then we'll get the holy site once we have the money to purchase that that tile. Uh, so we got red coats constructed. Let's go ahead and move them up to the front. Although we're probably not going to need this, this unit. But they do look fancy. They are fancy, Jinx. Um, so... We need those truffles. We put the trader here. Oh, yeah, we should get that soon. Uh, we put the trader here, and I think we had a trade route we were going to set up with this. I don't actually know anymore. I'm I've sure already forgotten, did. guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's something that was planned here, but I don't remember what. Jeez, guys. You get 17 gold from Corla. 
Where was that? From Gorla. Guess I don't see it. Oh, red. okay, I see. Uh, yeah, 17 gold and one faith. Um, there's also World War Z being installed. <laughs> <laughs> Istanbul, of course, which already have trade routes going there. Yeah, I guess that would be the best one. Sure, why not? 17 gold. Begin the route. That's oh, that's far. a far route. Yeah, it is. Good luck, fair sir. All right, so we're still trying to convert Geneva, guys. We got one spread left. Let's make it happen. Dance off. So we're trying to convert this city as well. This guy is injured. Um, yeah, he got attacked. Uh, but yeah, let's go and try and convert it. What would you consider injured? Like his feelings hurt? Is like his faith is waving? Well, it's theological combat, so <laughs> it's not probably not a physical injury. He's like, maybe there isn't a big naked god in the sky. I think, yeah, I think it's a more along that lines, actually, that it's like a, yeah, his faith is wavering. somebody made fun of him and so body shamed him. That's like a big desert island, isn't it? Jerks. You think he was body shamed? Yeah. He revealed him, but he hadn't even revealed himself yet. He is still in his he robes. He didn't even have to. Oh, he's a fatty? And that's how they knew. You ain't gotta be fat to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I'm not saying you do. But I'm saying how would you know, you know, that somebody is, you know. Sometimes you unless can it's, just make a lucky guess. <laughs> you just look at somebody and you know right away. Like that's their weakness. That they don't look good under those robes. They've only got four pack instead of six. I'm just saying, like, the only <laughs> thing you'd really know is uh, a negative about somebody's body. I think is overweight if they're fully robed the way our guys are. Well, if they have a hunch, there's that. True. <laughs> there's the hunch. Or a flipper. A flipper, you're right. It could be if they've got a flipper. There ain't no shame uh, in a flipper, flipper, though. I'll shake your flipper. <laughs> All right. So I think that's I think that's it for this turn. Uh, we get something in London. Oh, yes. We get the Archaeological Museum in London finished up this turn. And that's all I'm seeing. Oh, we were going to name here. that guy. Oh, yes, that's right. We need to do that. Uh, we have a patron name suggestion for our highest level unit here. Uh, so we'll take a look at that as soon as we I finish like with the AI building. turn. That one's nice. Yeah, that one is nice. I want to live there. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. That's why we got that high level unit living there. He be he deserves to live there. He's lived, lived so damn long. All right, so what it means with this special thing is, I assume it's about Suleiman. Oh, Suleiman hates us. Absolutely hates us. What did we do? It's a military emergency. Oh, we didn't even vote at all. We didn't get a chance to. That's um, rude. Why didn't they let us vote? Yeah, that was weird. All right, failed if we do not stay in United. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's odd. No innovation in the past 200 years. Okay, I don't know what happened there, guys. Well, we got toilets. And the storm. Category 4 hurricane. Yeah, there was a storm. Petered out. I didn't either. And we got our CB, so we can declare war on Sudamon. Well, then you know what? Let's name that unit now before I forget. Uh, so this is the unit we've had around for the longest, and we had a patron give us a suggestion. Oh, that's Daryl. Oh, we've already named him. <laughs> oh, because, yeah, he's the crossbowman. All right. Um, well, it's Somebody still... Somebody else we can name. Yeah, but he wanted that one. And so it's a patron name, so we'll rename him. And so, besides, he's not an archer. Oh, you can't. You're right. No. Once you named him, you can't rename him. Do we have any other name gunmen? can't be named again. True. Do we have any other gunmen so I can name him? Here, let's see if we can find him. There's a red coat. There are red coat. You know what? Red coat unit's pretty cool, but I don't think any of them have a level up, so you can't name oh, them. Oh, that's true. All right. Hmm. Well, here's one. The one guard in London. Horsey man. Well, because he wanted a, he originally oh, okay. said a crossbowman. So we can name this guy. Uh, and he wanted him to be named John the Swede. Originally he said Robin Hood, which would have been a great name. Yeah, uh, in the beginning. Why didn't we fucking think of that? Yeah, I don't know why. And uh, then when he found out that it, it wasn't, a crossbowman anymore because we had upgraded him. Then he changed it to, he said, just name him John. Swede. Is that? Oops. The Swiss. <laughs> Is that how you spell Swede? Yeah. Okay. Wasn't sure. It there we go. Now. <laughs> Can't change it. <laughs> All right, so let's go get a tech selected. 
Uh, so we've got the rifling tech, which we haven't gotten yet. Four turns to grab that. I don't remember what we were doing on here. That gives us the ranger unit. Uh, and then, yes, there's steel, which I think, yeah, we need rifling for. So basically, it's replaceable parts or electricity or radio, uh, essentially. Well, we wanted to get steel. Yeah, that gives us the artillery unit. Yeah, that's pretty useful. And then we have... The food infantry. Market. Some great stuff. Let's just get the rifling, guys. Get some fresh fruits and veggies. Okay. So what's going on here? That's right. We are trying to convert this city. Give them some nudism. Uh, and still trying to explore Our bro. this area here. No, what are you doing? Can I sail around with you? Yeah, you can come in. Although he's got an old ass ship, doesn't he? I didn't yeah, see what does. kind of ship that was. I don't know if that was his long ships. That's why he wants your technology. <laughs> so true, everybody wants my Or that tech. guy has just been gone from home for so long. He just never been upgraded. <laughs> yep. He's I mean, all of our ships are kind of, I think they're kind of old too. All right, so I think, oh wait, we gotta declare war. Almost forgot, guys. Ooh. Almost forgot. All right, so we're going to declare war on them, and they still haven't taken Istanbul because <laughs> they still don't have a range unit. Do we have to get through their unit to get there, though? Um, what? We have to... What did you say what for? Oh, because... Like, we can declare two... What? Surprise war. Oh, no, that's if you don't want to use a CB. Oh. The CBs are in here. Uh, so the formal war uh, would re give them 100 grievance, and then there's a colonial war. Use to declare war and power. There's two technologies area behind you. Half the usual grievances. So there's no reason <laughs> not to use that one because he's so uh, far back in tech. He's like, no one cares about your stupid village. No, that shan't happen, my friend. All right. So we've gone to war with them. It looks like that might have made some people happy, too. <laughs> Maybe. They're like, yeah, you get that crazy old Sulaman. <laughs> All right. So that gave us two plus air score. He's a dick, man. And of course, all of the city states declared war. All of them. Okay, but he did have a couple city states himself. What are these city states that are involved in this? It makes no matter. Yeah, he had a couple city states, so we are now at war with those. Uh, I don't know. I don't think any of them are around us, though, so I think we're okay. All right, so let's go. What is Geneva? I don't think we're at war with Geneva, are we? No, we're not. Okay. I don't think they have any units anyway. It doesn't look like they do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and invade now, guys. Now, they do have a damn uh, encampment here, so that's going to slow us down. Mm. Yeah, all this is going to slow us down a bit. I'm trying to get a cavalry unit over there as quickly as possible. That's what my plan was. They just kind of race over we there real quick. We waiting at the border on the water. Yeah, we could have done that with him. I didn't really think I guess about there's all those cliffs, though. Yeah, there's only one spot, I think. You you know, I don't even know if you can get in that spot. It doesn't look like there's a cliff there, but there could be. Mm. I don't think you can. No. Because, the and they have that unit there, yeah. so. Yeah, we might not have been able to do it that way. Anyways, see, so let's just go here. Let's go and race in with the cavalry units. Now, I hope they can't kill him, because they have two places that can attack him at the same time. Yeah. So that could be a problem. Um, let me just take a look and see how we do against these. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Uh, so let's attack this first. Can we hit it from this far away? I don't actually know. We are one, two, oh, we're too far. So we are going to have to move in a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and move. Hmm. Trying to find the best way to do this, guys. To arrange all your dudes. You know what? Let's just go and invade with this guy. He's going to do very well against the encampment overall. Yeah, uh -huh. not bad. Not bad at all, guys. All right, let's go and move him in. And we might need to go ahead and... Because uh, I don't think we can attack this turn, right? Maybe we can. I didn't think he could. Oh, he can attack. Hmm. Okay. Does he have an upgrade that lets him attack in? I don't think so. Yeah, I thought these guys couldn't... Uh, Attack after they moved, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I guess I I'm wrong. I thought him moving into a jungle would make a difference, but I guess not. Okay. Let's go move these guys forward. So we were able to attack there. Do what there. they want. They do what they want, Jinx. And uh, let's go ahead. 
Oh, okay, so we could form a core with these two units. That makes one powerful unit. I don't think we've covered that yet. Uh, so let's just have this guy guard up. I don't think that the delete unit button should be sitting around all willy-nilly. Like also, that. yeah, so easily <laughs> right next to, to the hit. upgrade button. Yeah, I agree. Skip turn, and then let's bring the general in as well. We have better attack power here. And then we also have the range unit, uh, which I think he should be able to fire from here. Daryl. Shoot over the water. Yeah. Oh, that's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, they're not doing well over there. So the encampment should be taken soon, guys. We don't have to worry about that no more. All right, so that's all the units that we have here. Um, however, we do have the ship here that we can make use of. Uh, so might as well. And let's just have him go... Uh, I guess go right here. He might get attacked by the city, though. Hopefully the volcano doesn't blow. Yeah, blow up and destroy our ship or damage it anyway. It could. All right, then let's just skip turn. All right. Uh, so, do we have enough to get that balloon yet that I wanted? <laughs> it won't help for this war more than likely, but I still I want to get it. I need the balloon. I need the observation balloon. We can. All right, so we'll get that. Okay, so that is all, folks. Let's end our turn. And we are so broke. We got two gold. It's like the wow. least amount of money we've ever had. That is broke. Mm -hmm. That is embarrassingly broke. Mm -hmm. That's like when you got two dollars in your wallet. Oh, we can raid that uh, trader right there. I knew they were going to focus fire on that. Bastards. But luckily, they are so far, ahead, so far behind in tech mm -hmm. that they really just can't do anything to us. They're trying to swoop in. They still don't have a melee unit, so they can't do it. No. Mongolia is like all ranged units for whatever reason. I don't know why they haven't built any. I know they are short on uh, gunpowder. They don't have any steel, maybe. <laughs> what, the iron? Yeah, I think it's iron, yeah. I think it's a lack of gunpowder, because these newer units, the newer melee units use gunpowder. Mm. So I think that's what the problem is. And they're always asking us for gunpowder, and we tell their asses no, so... That's what I'm assuming the issue is. So what did we get new? Anything that we want to make use of? Uh, four plus great general points. And we got a trophy. What could possibly go wrong? I don't know what we got that for. But we'll take it. I don't see anything new here, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and continue our assault on the enemy. Uh, so we could attack there, that would just destroy them. Uh, let's attack with these guys first since this is the only place they're going to be able to attack right now. Let's go ahead and hit them up. And hopefully that'll now allow the red coat to just attack in here. Yeah, that's enough. Go marching up in there. Mm -hmm. This is ours now. Yep, so we've taken their encampment. Don't have to worry about that attacking any longer, which would be nice. Let's go and make sure the great general goes with them. Plant our flag. Tie that to him. Uh, and then, yes, we're bringing the knight here, and I'm going to try and attack Istanbul and take it. Let's see if this works. <laughs> um, there are units in there. We should be able to take it. He seems a little bit hesitant. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't know if this is going to work, Mom. But I think we just took Istanbul. <laughs> <laughs> right from underneath. Mongolia's hands. Yeah, his fault. It's his fault. We're not building the melee units. And so, this will finally allow us to get access to the Sea of Marmara and, you know, to connect that to the larger ocean. Because we couldn't do it here through Jerusalem. That was a disaster. But we can do it here. Oh, right there. Well, let me see here. Well, let me, I might have talked too soon. Let me take a look here. Yeah. This is, um, this is flat. So that means we can build right there we can get a canal and that would connect the two and we can finally get access to here however there is no way to get this guy out guys yeah, um, I was like why can't we just build like three tiles of canal yeah somebody else asked about if you could build multiple canals uh canals are, have very specific rules so you can only build them if they're connecting two c tiles mm -hmm. together so that's what we were trying to do here with uh with this one, but of course we couldn't do it there. Uh, so you could build one there if it wasn't on a hill, because that connects two sea tiles. Or, like in this case, you can have it connect to a city, since cities are kind of naturally canals. So we can build one there. So it has to connect a sea tile 
with a city. So technically, you could build three in a row if they followed those three rules. Yeah. Uh, but that would be, you know, that'd be very odd-looking territory for that to work. All right, so uh, it's been some peace here. Uh, Harold has made peace. Uh, we are no longer the Caesarian of Cardiff. Okay. Cardiff got all cranky. And I think uh, I think uh, Suleiman, Suleiman just uh, took control of Cardiff, actually, because they declared war. Oh, well. Yeah, and Geneva just declared war. Yeah. Yeah, because Cardiff is now at war with us. Oh, I see. And these are all our city-states. Uh, or may, and Cardiff, yeah, okay, yeah, it's definitely Suleiman. Okay. Uh, and 4 plus air score because we took the capital of the Ottomans. Awesome. Oh, poor Suleiman. <laughs> so we're going to keep the city. Obviously, we can't uh, raise it because it's a capital city. What if we could? Yeah, we would if we could. Just destroy it all. All right, so let's go ahead and start bombarding this city, and we're going to wipe this city out, guys. It's not going to exist any longer. We're going to bombard it. And it looks like we're, the Ottomans might help us with that task as well, because they have a unit here. Uh, oh, all their units got kicked out of our territory. So yeah, that Mongolians. unit... Mongolians? Yeah, Mongolians. What did I say? The Ottomans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, the, and the Ottomans are going to help us conquer their territory. Like, are they going to just open the gates? Do we have that kind of death? <laughs> yes, we do, Jinx. Yes, we do. All right, let's bring this guy here and hope the volcano doesn't go off. <laughs> if the volcano did go off, it would be an act of God. All right, see, this unit can't attack there after moving, so maybe it is something mm. special that guy had. I'm curious. He's a special guy. Crew weapons, no. There's nothing he's got. Or he's All right. a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he cheats, Jinx. Uh, so... Let's go and have our musketmen attack the city. Attack! Oh, I meant to, to raid that. Dang it. It's not too late. Um, yeah, I mean, it's gonna move a couple places, though, so... Have the redcoats done anything yet? Yeah, they took the encampment. Oh, I was thinking that was last turn. Mm -mm, that was this turn. Turns we did a, go on for so we long. We did a lot. Yeah, we've done a lot this turn. Uh, so, what is available to us? These three? Archaeologists. Uh, so, oh, we already we have... Get, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, we got a lot. Uh, so, conservation, conservation, mass media, or mobilization. Those are the options. Uh, we haven't boosted any of those. Uh, so, what do they give us? Unit maintenance, cost reduce. Ooh, that's nice. That would replace the one we have. Uh, you can declare a war of territorial territorial expansion. Uh, allows forming three identical... Okay, so that allows uh, the armies and armar armadas and one plus governor title. All right, that's not a bad one. That one gives us Jesus. Uh, mass media, yes. The Cristo Redentor. And Broadway. That's a wonder as well. 20 plus culture. And one free uh, random atomic air civic boost. That's pretty good. Uh, and a governor title. And this wonder's all right as well. All right, so that's an option. Uh, and then conservation, resource management, natu uh, naturalist, light game, civilian who can create a single national park to attract tourists. Oh, you like plants, flowers, and stuff. Mm hmm And we get three envoys as He's well. He's really growing weed, though. Mm hmm Yeah. Of course. All right, so I think we're gonna go with the mobilization. You don't want Jesus on a hill? <laughs> I think that's the best option <laughs> for us right now. Uh, so we got the archaeological museum, so we can get yeah. an archaeologist. Uh, we also need to purchase a apostle. And as you notice, guys, these are getting more and more expensive. Yeah, uh, it's a bit ridiculous. It's just the way it works. It gets more and more expensive. Uh, every time you buy one of these, it gets more expensive. Aren't religious folks supposed to just... Yeah, be religious. We have to bribe them with, faith. with goodies and fancy robes. <laughs> Let's get the archaeologist, guys. All right, so Istanbul needs to produce something. Uh, which probably just have them repair all Let's this give shit. Them sewers. They already have sewer <laughs> strings. I think that. Do they? Or I was thinking that said so they had. Maybe they so. didn't. Yeah, maybe they didn't have sewers. I was thinking that was one of the things to be repaired, but maybe not. Uh, we got a governor title to grant. All right, well, we got a lot of governors. Um, we can get more tourism, which would actually be useful now. Uh, so we could do that. 
Uh, what are the options available here? The city receives two plus gold from much unimproved tile. Uh, all offshore wind farms, solar farms, okay. Allow city to purchase districts of gold. It's useful. Um, allow city to purchase districts with faith. Apostles and warrior monks train the city to receive one extra, okay. That would actually be pretty good to have. 10 plus religious strength and theological combat and tiles of the city. All right, I'm not really seeing anything that's gonna be immediately beneficial to most of our cities here. Yeah. Construct a fishery housing. improvement. I don't know if we're having housing issues anywhere. Where? What are you talking about? This one? Mm -hmm. You can't even get that one. We haven't got the agriculture oh. yet. Or aquaculture. The Excuse colors me. are too similar. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Like these two, like for instance, we haven't got that one yet. We have gotten that one. So, yeah. <laughs> it's Should it's a little bit confusing things. sometimes. And then there's the steward. You know, I think we're going to do the educator's uh, tourism bonus. I think that's the best one for us right now. Because that's the one in our capital. Can't believe we haven't got old eye patch yet. Which one's eye patch? Is he the defensive one? Yeah. That's why, because we, our cities True. don't get attacked. So I just don't feel like the need for it. You know what? Maybe he just can't attack from this location. Maybe that's what it's that was. too far. Yeah, it seems like he can't attack. Okay, I see what's going on. Uh, I was super confused there, guys. Uh, we were still in the same turn. I was thinking I was on a whole new turn. What? Oh, I'm, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I was thinking I was in a new turn. I don't know we're why. We're still in the same... We're still in that same freaking turn. This yeah. This is the turn. I guess. Never <laughs> yeah. Absolutely is. Oh, I remember that damn show. What was that... Sh uh, what was that show called? A show? Oh, I don't know. Where they had the lamb chops. Lamb chops? Yeah, and that... Oh. Isn't that, her, isn't that Lamb Chops' song? I don't song? know. Yeah, that's from a show. Jinx is singing a song and she doesn't even know where the, sh the song is from. It's from Annoying Little Children is what it's from. It, it is an annoying song. Is it that is. the little puppet? Yeah, it's a little puppet and that's okay. Lamb Chops. Isn't that the name of the show? Maybe. Could be the name of the show, but it had like a bunch of puppets in it and stuff. Oh, I don't know. i never seen it. Oh, so where did you get the song from? You did Annoying Little Children. That's oh. where it got it. Oh, Okay. <laughs> well, I actually remember that show. I just can't remember which one it is. Uh, Support Smith. I th think that this this one gives a lot of great stuff, even if the gold isn't super high. In fact, you get higher gold here. Okay, that's probably the best one then. And you get goodies. Mm -hmm. And you get all those goodies. We just get so much good stuff for trading with them. That's why I've been you know kind of doing these routes. If we ever went to war with them, man, no. that would sink our economy how much is that would that affect them are they doing a lot of routes they only have one route to us yeah they're only doing one route they okay. must not get much in return maybe not or they're just like eh we ain't going that far alright skip a turn and then we got these guys still trying to can we spread religions here if they're not uh it feels like I'm wasting it yeah, I don't seems know. Like they're just not very happy. Well, yeah, they're not. They're happy. not open to religion. Well, right they're now. independent, but I'm saying like, is this being wasted? What is this about? Oh, okay, that's. Let's let's double check this before I spend it again, guys. Uh, let's see what's. Oh man, I don't remember it's the name Halep. of it. Halep. Okay. Let's take a look. And just when any, any city that's containing it. And so I think we're just looking maybe independent. Here it is. Free, Free city. city. Okay. Yeah, we have converted one. All right, they just don't have any majority religion. Okay. That was what was confusing me, guys. That's because they're dragging people out into the streets. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's much worse if you're naked. All right, so we'll just go and wrap all the way around here, guys. We'll just have them set to... Oh, it looks like he can... Can't go that way. He thinks he can cross that way. <laughs> <laughs> he can't cross that way, man. The ship's going to grow legs. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we don't have open borders with her. What? I was thinking we did. I thought we did, too. I thought we were, like, best friends. Apparently not. Well, we can contact her and get open borders. Let's make a deal. All right, so open borders for open borders. And she doesn't think it's equitable. She wants two... What? Why? Look at how much these people rip me off, guys. Mm -hmm. And she's all stink eyeing you. I'm oh, not giving you a hundred gold. <laughs> Let's give her 
as little as possible. Half. <laughs> <laughs> Not even half. We're gonna give it 30. No, oh, she's willing to accept less. <laughs> nope. And... <laughs> 26 gold. Deal. All right. So we have open borders now. And so we should be able to go into our territory and start exploring. He's so silly. I thought she had a goodie hat. Oh, <laughs> Jinx thought that her uh, we entertainment complex was a goodie hat. All right. I forgot that was a scout. Mm hmm Yeah. I was like, oh my god, he did crow legs. <laughs> you thought that was on the ship? I was amazed. Yep, that's our scout. And this will likely be the end here. Oh, there's a battle. That's right. Yeah, I was wondering where the try the traitor. No, remember it was that's what I'm talking about. You, I think you confused me too because maybe we were like, "Oh, get the traitor," you know, because you were thinking it was a new turn too. Oh, that's why we couldn't get him because everybody had already moved. Still in the same turn. Yeah, we were still in the same turn. That was all one turn. Just threw me the fuck off. So I was sitting here trying to figure out why I couldn't move any of these fucking units because we already moved them. I was super confused, guys. And what are they celebrating about? citizens of York and the first in the world to discover that the only thing better than living in York is living in a slightly cleaner place outside of it, <laughs> <laughs> which is because we got the uh, neighborhood. Oh. We got our neighborhood district. If you want to see that, it is right there. Tiny houses. So that's our neighborhood district. It's I pretty like nice. It. Let's put tiny houses everywhere. <laughs> uh, we met a new city state. Okay. And they want us to construct an encampment. Oh no, there's a flood. Alright, it doesn't affect us. <laughs> I don't give a shit then. You're not uh, gonna we can send purchase a missionary. Bro. Uh, we got the world's first neighborhood. Nobody else has had a neighborhood before. Wow, that's mm -hmm. sad. Istanbul is starving. We need more housing there. And the apostle here has an upgrade. Uh, so let's do the gains three extra spreads when moving adjacent to a natural wonder for the first time. Well, we can do that. We have to remember to move him next to that. So he gets three extra spreads. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and continue our war. Let's go and attack the city. Bomb them. And see if we can't get this city completely wiped out. I'm gonna burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground, Jinx. Burn it to the ground. All right. So let's attack this guy. Attack both the bombards, and that should actually be enough. Should. Uh, with one attack from like the musket men or the red men. Or red men, the red goat. <laughs> We've got red men on our side, the yeah. rapper. Ugh. Um, maybe. Ah, oh, uh, Sliver, are you serious? Well, we could do it with him. Okay. Can he? He can't. He can't get that, I don't think. It's got to be the red coat. Sorry, because we got to plunder this. 80 gold. I feel like it's worth it. And so, what if this guy could attack? Heck, can he come in? Let's see. Oh, he wouldn't be able to hit him. He's too yeah, far away. Too far. All right, so I just better go in here. So we'll just have to attack and uh, get him really close and just hope that he doesn't. And we already know he doesn't have any melee units, so he's not going to be able to attack there. He's going to pull one out of thin air. Yeah, that guy's just going to transform like into did. a melee unit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get something produced in York now that they completed their tiny houses. Um, sewers would also grant housing. We um, need more tiny houses. Well, we don't need more because we actually have... <laughs> An abundance of housing now, Jinx. Well, yeah, look at all those little houses. Yeah, all those places that we, somebody needs to move to. Although I imagine everybody's moving out of the city now and going to the neighborhood. Yeah, because, I mean, look at it. It's nice other than the coal mine in the back. Mm -hmm. Do they need amenities in New York? No, they just need power. All right, well, let's in, go ahead and get stock exchange and get that money. That's the wrong kind of power they were wanting. <laughs> we got the military engineer completed, Jinx. Well, that's awesome. Care. You don't care. Where's Indiana Jones? <laughs> All right, so they do need sewers here, though, uh, for the housing, so we'll get that. And so what are we going to do with the engineers? Uh, well, we can build roads with them mm -hmm. if we wanted to. i got to look and see what all we can build. Uh, but, yeah, there's a lot of options. 
I'd like to get that canal in Istanbul as soon as possible, and they can speed up canal production too by 20%. Mm. So that would be useful. Got the university in Athens. Oops. Let's see if they've got any wonders they can get. They can get Oxford. Okay. I, I really wanted to get Oxford. And I think it's fitting here. We couldn't get it in our main city. So we could do it here. Um, though we'd have to destroy whatever all this shit is. <laughs> what is this? Oh, lumber, lumber mills. mills. We'd have to get rid of the lumber mills. I'm actually fine with that, though. Yeah, I don't see any reason to keep the lumber mills if we don't, we don't need to. Yeah, so I think we're going to get Oxford there. If we can, we'll try. Let me see if there's anything that would help production that's easy to build, since we're kind of getting Not this Not tearing slow. down the lumber mill. True. <laughs> <laughs> Athens grows in one turn, so I guess there's that. Yeah, let's just get it, guys. Let's go after it. Their production is kind of garbage here, but nothing to be done about it. If they don't finish it, they don't finish it. Just this wouldn't be the reading their books. yeah. This wouldn't be the first time that that they weren't able to get something done. Um, so let's go here. I think yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's go there. All right. And Liverpool finished up their market. How are they doing on housing? They're doing all right. And they're gonna get the bank next. I'm just trying to make Liverpool into like a money godly city. Just. Everyone's just dripping in getting, gold. Yeah, just getting insane amounts of money every turn. This guy should probably go up here. I didn't realize that all this is undefended. We still got a city up here that needs to get destroyed. Urfa. Or we can go take that, in fact. Might as well, right? Let's just destroy the Ottomans. They have a city over there that's about to flip. So yeah. we could have to go we could also go after that. Although it looks like it's in a only a so so position. Yeah, it's not the greatest placement, but I don't like it. Could go after it, though, if we wanted to. We do have troops here that could do it. Like, they're bored. They don't have anything to do. You know what? Let's just go over there and see what happens. Let's start moving them. Maybe we don't do anything. Maybe all we do is raid. Maybe we steal their builder. Ooh, that's <laughs> pillage. So we stole their builder. Let's go and put him here. And we'll get him connected. I thought he was already. Apparently not. And... How many traders do we have in Jerusalem? Apparently a lot. Let's see. I think that they have access to certain routes that other places don't. Uh, Auckland. Yeah. Did they have a previous route? Or is this a... Yeah, this was Auckland. So they, they were already gone. Yeah, let's do that one. That's a good route. And the military engineer is ready. What can he do here? Oh, he can build a railroad. That's oh, right, I forgot they could do that. Okay. They can build airstrips, they can build forts. So is there any towns that needed a road connected? So what did the railroads do? They speed up your your movement even faster. Oh, so they go over the roads? Yeah, or, or not, or you could just yeah. build the railroad. Uh, uh, so, yeah, where would we want to build, like a road or whatever? From... Is Portsmouth there any places that aren't New connected? Market. Dumfries. Uh, Liverpool's not yet connected. If you want to be able to get troops there quickly, it'd be a good idea to get some. Uh, where were you saying? I was saying from Portsmouth to Newmarket. To Newmarket? Yeah, across the middle there. Oh, across the middle there. I guess that would be a one option. And then to Liverpool. Why don't we just do... Liverpool first. Yeah, we could do Liverpool first just because it's close. Let's do that. And build a road. Or that would be a railroad. Mm -hmm. and we, I'm fine with doing that. And then we got the observation balloon moving mm. to the front. I love it. I like its whoosh. Me too. I like its whoosh as well, Jinx. All right, so I guess we'll just have him up on the front. Because uh, eventually we is burning. probably go to war with these guys. Does it help if there's a unit sitting in the city? What do you mean? As far as like their revolt? Maybe. Issues. It might. Yeah, but I think they revolt no matter what for a certain amount of turns. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we can move them back. I don't know if that affected it at all. I suppose we'll move them there until they're done with their. Until they settle down. Yep. Realize settle that down. British rule is in their best interest. Yeah, we got snacks. They're either going to be under us or they're going to be under the Mongols. Would you rather be 
uh, a nudist or not? It's your options. I would rather be a nudist. Exactly. Oh, yes. Good God. That was supposed to be the end of the turn a while yeah. ago. <laughs> My bad, guys. I think we, uh, well, that one turn lasted forever. Uh, so I guess I said my bad, like people mind that we went a little <laughs> bit longer. Uh, so let's go ahead and end it here, guys. We'll pick up and, and do the things we got to get done in the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. Uh, we almost got this last city taken, and we're going to completely wipe that out. And then hopefully Istanbul will then connect to Nudingham relatively quickly. That's the hope anyways. Well, I think we might have to buy some tiles or whatever. Uh, but yeah, looking pretty good. And this sea, the Sea of Marmara, is officially our sea. Mari Nostrum, guys. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, there's that little border right there. We're just going to not include that. For the most part, it's RC. Uh, so, yeah, really got some stuff done in this one. Uh, hope to see you on the next episode, which will be on Christmas Day. We will have an episode on Christmas. Uh, so we'll see you then. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. And thanks for watching, guys.